Former Today anchor Katie Couric has revealed that for the past several months, she's been privately battling cancer. Thank you all for your support. In an essay titled Why Not Me, the 65-year-old journalist says she was stunned by a stage one breast cancer diagnosis in June after missing her annual mammogram. I'm normally vigilant, bordering on neurotic about taking care of my health. I want to make sure that you all don't put off your mammograms. Katie is among nearly half of women over 40 in the U.S. who have dense breast tissue, which makes it more difficult to detect abnormalities on a mammogram and also increases your risk of breast cancer. Armed with this knowledge, her mammogram was followed by additional screening using an ultrasound. Doctors biopsied a mass. The next day, Katie received the shocking results. It's cancer. You're going to be fine, but we need to make a plan. I felt sick, and the room started to spin. What does this mean? What will the next weeks, months, even years look like? This isn't the first time cancer has touched her life. Katie has long been an advocate for cancer awareness and screenings ever since her husband Jay was diagnosed with colon cancer and died of the disease at the age of 42. Words, of course, will never describe how devastating this loss has been. She famously underwent an on-air colonoscopy on Today to encourage others to get checked. As a result, screenings went up by 20 percent, some dubbing it the Couric effect. I have a pretty little colon. <laughs> she also lost her sister Emily to pancreatic cancer in 2001. The deaths of her loved ones prompting Katie to co-found Stand Up to Cancer. And I just realized I had to do something about this. But with no family history of breast cancer, her own diagnosis came as a particular shock. Katie's surgeon, Dr. Lisa Newman. More than three quarters of the breast cancers that we diagnose occur in women that do not have any established risk factors for breast cancer. Katie's cancer was caught early. She underwent a lumpectomy along with radiation and says she'll need to take medication for the next five years. It is wonderful that Katie has gone public with her experience and early detection of breast cancers will save millions of lives. Now, as she's done before, Katie is determined to shine a light once again on the importance of screening for cancer. Please get your annual mammogram. I was six months late this time. I shudder to think what might have happened if I had put it off longer. Just six months late. Here's what we know for sure. When we do stories like this, our hope is that one, a woman watching or maybe a family member, that we give you a little nudge yeah. to go ahead and get that I mean, checkup. Six, That's what's most important. Six months is nothing. It's nothing. I mean, especially with COVID and people not Absolutely. going in for checkups. Yeah, and you know, you kind of think, yeah. oh, when I feel I, something. Yeah, or no. I did that. Yeah. She thought she did it. Yeah. She was like, yeah. oh, it's been that long? Really? So we're for a mammogram or any of those yeah, screening, absolutely. I actually made an appointment yesterday for a yearly physical I need, yeah. and it's like, you because you remember, yeah. like, oh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm not going to put it off another day. Yeah. These kinds of stories save lives. Mm -hmm. and and we're going to hear from Katie, that. too, right? Yes, she's going to join us on Monday. It'll be her first live interview since sharing her diagnosis. So it'll be good to see Katie and give her a hug, and, and obviously she's got a really important message to share. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.